There we go. Oh, hey everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... Here's some first mate right here at your service who just got here and not even in his seat yet. <laughs> there and we go. welcome back to Guacamelee, though uh, it's a bit different than last time. Because this is the, well, Super Turbo Championship Edition. And yes, that doesn't mean absolutely nothing because it's just a, it's just a parody subtitle. Uh, yeah, 
We were originally playing the gold edition of the game, because I actually didn't know about this version, which is the definitive edition, which had some extra content between where we, well, where we started the game and where we ended up last time. Though, in, so instead of going through everything, instead of going through the uh, game from the very start again, uh, I decided to try and record the new footage, or the, the new stuff, be in between. I did miss a bit of it, because there is a new character added in, or new characters. And uh, one of them just literally... P in the scene where Kalaka kills Juan, uh, he literally just... Or they, technically. They literally just pop in f as the screen is fading out, saying, uh, Hi guys, what did I miss? And, yeah, they show up later as well. Um, but I've recorded all of that, and I will upload that to the YouTube channel as a uh, 2.5, epi uh, episode 2.5. <clears throat> oh, the hero. Anyways, I also got here quite quick, as you can see, two hours. I do have about the same amount of health and such, like, they they, they rebalance the... the yeah, they rebalanced the coins a bit, pesos, uh, pesos, as they are actually named now. If they were named early in the gold edition, I didn't see. But yeah, yeah, I got those coins in the yeah. gold edition, I think. Yeah, we have uh, all health chunks and all of the stamina chunks. There are one more of each, I'm pretty sure. So we might have a little bit more. And uh, yeah, I haven't, I haven't bought any of these though. And instead of actually unlocking the suplex, pile driver, and such, they come standard. These just upgrade the damage that they do. And yeah, there's also this Intenso stuff. That is that third bar next to Huang's head. Uh, basically, that's a supercharge mode. You get charged for it by, well, kicking ass. And when you activate it, you deal extra damage. Uh, you take less damage, I think. And you can you your stamina recharges a lot faster. So speaking of, I just noticed we have <laughs> we have six stamina in this case. I think in the gold edition we had like four. Yeah, I think so too. I'm pretty sure I didn't pick up any uh, any of the uh, upgrades that we hadn't found before. Maybe I, I did. Hmm? I noticed something else new. What the? Two player press, three player press, and four player press. Yeah. Well, the Golden Show had only up to second player. This is four player. Yeah, and I, I would absolutely love to play this game in four player sometime just for the absolute madness of it. Holy. But that yeah. is so chaotic. Uh, beyond the new content, there is one other different thing so far. Uh, well, two other things. Uh, you can see that up in the corner, there's uh, the, the second type of coin. That is actually silver that you get you know, with, from fights and such, which you can use to buy costumes. Alright. I think in the gold edition they cost uh, just plain old coins. Or some other way to unlock them, I didn't actually check that much. But yeah, each of them have different little effects. Uh, hello there, Glacier Boy. Hope you're doing the you you doing well today. <laughs> but yeah, just these standard ones. Uh, bonus <laughs> charisma, discounted Herma Hernandos. <laughs> yeah, then we have Polo Luchador. <laughs> Holy Bianca Giant Chicken. <laughs> what more can be said? Let's see. Health regeneration, but slower stamina regeneration. Pinata. <laughs> you look fabulous, but for some reason everyone wants to punch you. Uh, more money, but we are fragile. El Portero, the, I guess, think that probably translates to bouncer or something. Throwing is... No. Throwing is this goalie specialty. Okay, a footballer more, I, I'm guessing. Uh, just don't get into too many fist fights. Super powerful throw, but weaker melee damage. Warrior's Might, channel the fury of your ancestors. You gain Intenso more quickly. Taking damage drains Intenso, and it drains more uh, faster as well. Then we have Skeleton, with no muscles, a Skeleton never gets tired. But with no veins, a Skeleton can't be healed either. Infinite stamina, but no life from Red Orbs, so we can only heal at the checkpoints. Would be very interesting to play as. 
Yeah, Holly, Holly like... Hebrew. Oh, oh good, good gods. Yeah. I was to say, they, they all don't look like a reference to Coco or something. Uh, yeah, Co yeah, Coco. Yeah, we we tried to see, uh, we tried to watch that yesterday, but for some reason, you know, the day before that, uh, for some reason the, the disc was stuttering. So yeah, I bought a new, more recent player or <clears throat> detachable DVD player for my com computer. So we can give that another try another day. Uh, let's see. Become the mythical Alihibre. You can dish out the pain, but you can't take it. You deal and take massive damage. And, you're safe. Oh. and then we have <laughs> Diablo suit. Be the best dressed demon from the underworld. Drain the life force from your enemies. Yeah, life steal. More stamina, but less life. That could also be a nice way to play the game. And we do have enough to unlock it. So. I'm thinking we unlock a few yes, a few outfits to test them out a, a few times. Like, uh, which one would you say we should unlock first? We have 40, so we can do one of the big ones or a few of the smaller ones. Warriors might seem interesting. The devil That's... one. That, that way is a. No, there are several that I would count as glass cannons. Yeah, like this one. Hmm. I actually need to double check when Coco came out and when this game came out. Let's see. <laughs> Spooky, scary skeleton. Oh, hello there, Ghost Howl. I didn't notice you for a moment because you and Glacier Boy start with the same letter and have oh. the same color. Sorry about that. Hope you're doing okay as well. Hello, Ghosty. And yeah, we have similar... Yep, we have similar... Costumes for Tostada over there. So, yeah, you're sure about Warrior's Might? Hmm. I'm curious on it. Okay, it, 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 yeah. it'll also showcase the uh, Intenso feature. So, yeah, last chance, sure or not? I'm sure. Okay, there we go. A little fanfare. And, yeah. <laughs> okay, one other thing that is different now is that the, the graphics have been upgraded. But I'm, I'm not sure if the shadows were in the background before. They definitely are now. And, well, they have also quite literally been improved because the box that it's in now is bigger than the, the gold edition was. And so it's a higher resolution as well. Um, beyond that, we got the Frog Slam in a different location. The new one that you pass through after you find Flame Face in the bar. But I think that's about it. Any new uh, yeah. extra content that's to follow? We will just see, well, when we see it. Yeah, so, and... Oh, damn. Oh, those damn things. I want to say, you should give... Oh, uh, what was her name again? Cristada? Uh, I think we should give her a little try as well. There we go. Yeah, th th that was the Intenso mode. Okay, now things are going to get annoying. With different shielded enemies. So yeah, la la like I said, uh, more damage. With or we get Intenso quicker thing and yeah we <laughs> just improves it in general but we will need to bi build it up and the bigger the combo we have uh, the more we get but yeah like yeah we we lost quite a bit there from getting hit and yeah we get silver from finishing fights but we, though we can also find boxes with them That way is to Tkalaka, so let's check out the other way. Oh, ah, damn it. And yes, I have had it confirmed. If these things go off, uh, you will just take damage. It's not an instant game over. Or at least, I hope it's not for these big ones. Yep. 
Perhaps I'm getting a bit hit too much to make too much use out of this <laughs> costume at the moment. Okay. There we go. Oh yeah, it will be a nice change of pace from uh, his normal speedo. Just get a, a warrior speedo instead. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he had some pants in his original. Yeah. Okay, upwards is... What are we going to find down here? Go. Assuming this is going to lead to some... Actually, this is leading too far over to the B-side stuff. So let's take, let's take a peek in that little side room. Hmm. Yeah, I'm feeling like this is one of the games where we want to try to get as upgraded as possible. Yeah, especially if I'm going to keep kicking, getting my ass kicked. And also something else. Uh, up there we go. Okay, that what that does is that is I believe it'll allow us to upgrade uh, the Intenso bar. How are we Ooh. supposed to even? Okay, I'm guessing we have to jump through, then dash, raffle onto the wall, then jump up. But I, that looks a bit far to me. Not far enough, but <laughs> almost. There we go. Get some height. A bit too much height. Uh, yeah, as I was going to say, there is a golden ending to this game, but it's not locked behind complete 100%. Uh, we just need to find six pieces of something. I did it again. Okay, we can only we can only use the uppercuts once before touching the ground again, so we can't use that to grapple on. Hmm. Hmm. You know, I'm jumping too quickly or something. Or there's supposed to be some other platform around what? here. We can double double jump again after. We just have to rush it or something. Being a well timed rushed is needed. Use the boost. Yeah, use the uppercut. So no use there. Hmm. Come on. Yeah, we kind of need to. Hmm. What the? Oh, you're all taking damage. Yep, the spikes. Okay, I think it's a, a bit of a case of timing. Like, we need to jump through as it's coming back. Wait, uh, I mean, something uh, from uh, Glacier Boy, you think, in the chat? Uh, no, there's... The other side of this wall is gooped up, so we can't jump on. Oh... We can't grab on grab onto the wall high enough to there we go to actually avoid getting hit by the spikes. There we had to do that. Okay. Uh, uh, wait, <laughs> even the chicken form gets changed. Okay, <laughs> I did not expect that. Okay. I didn't pick up... There was one other of those that I found in earlier in the game, but I didn't pick it up. I... Now, let's continue on. Then, now I actually want to see what the chicken form for all the other new ones is. <laughs> yeah, but... 
I can see what have pros and cons, but um, some of the pros can outweigh the cons depending how good you are at the, a certain playstyle. Yeah. Check points. Let's see. Right. This one is definitely good. However, it is only good as long as you are actually good at evading and attacks from your opponents. Yeah, I have a bit of a history with knots. It's really... Does me wonder if the devil suit is good pick for sure. It's less, less health, but you do life drain from every hit you do. Yeah. That's why so, also it's one of the most expensive. There we go. So the question be, how much less health uh, does the character get? True, it would be nice to have a preview of sorts on that. For now... Uh, let's upgrade how quickly we get our stamina back. So that is going to be a big design... Oh, that, that's also a little thing. The bones are a lot more visible now, than, other than having only a red outline. It's a small thing, but still a nice one. Ooh, yeah. Not the button I needed there. Yep. <laughs> we are just going to be stuck without any intenso for the entire rest of the game at this rate, aren't we? Uh, maybe this one was not a uh, good suit for you. Uh, cute. Oh. Whose idea was is to install all this? Uh, okay, those are instant death. Should have assumed because the uh, well, we've encountered uh, we've encountered buzz saws before, but not of this kind. These are more like chainsaws, ancient Babylon chainsaws. <laughs> wait, wait. Can you say it again? The ancient Babylonian chainsaws, because we were finding so much ancient Babylonian bullshit in the in Infernal Machine last time. <laughs> I was thinking it could be Ooh. a bit of a joke for us. Okay, but I wasn't wondering, wait. He... I could have been doing where you really? failed geography again. No, that Babylon is over in Iraq. We are very clearly... <laughs> in a Latin America somewhere sometime. Yeah, I think around Mexico. Uh, it is chock full of Mexican uh, culture. Though that doesn't have to mean specifically Mexico. It could be Mexico inspired or adjacent or many things. Really? Are <laughs> there Mothman cubes in this game too? Uh, maybe. We haven't seen any though. There's a lot of Jaguar and skeleton stuff though. We, we, we have seen our Chupacabra. Yeah. So there are some cryptids. Okay, cutting it a bit close with some of these. Becoming minced meat. Uh, wait. Oh, good God! Is this a taco machine? I don't think. Uh, ta yeah. Damn it! Jumped. I don't think they uh, stuff their tacos with uh, human meat. Then again, there are some parts of the world where, well, there's just some people who just do not want the meat. Yeah, and we pr I'm pretty sure that we have met some non-humans here. Yeah. Who might be consider it. Like the flowers. 
and the angry tiny ones. Yeah, the I forgot to their name already again. Hello. Okay, so Oxus something. Okay. Oxus, I think this is the multiple. <laughs> Thanks for the image. Yeah. Uh, you're welcome. I I'm thinking these murals are sort of showing a prophecy of sorts because in the the, t in the temple of rain, uh, they I kind of overlooked some of them, but basically it was telling a story of that the uh, the uh, Alehibre or uh, that the Alehibre of the temple was uh, worshipped, but then it was cursed to become evil and well eventually defeated. And I'm pretty sure we, if we look back through all the murals in this place, we would see the same thing. Like a uh, peaceful serpent, uh, spooky skeleton does something to them, they go evil, they get their scaled asses kicked. The ceremony is complete. The great temple shall rise, the day of reckoning is at hand. Yes, and at last I can, <laughs> but I can incinerate, incinerate this nuisance of a woman. I almost, I almost, I almost said he said reincarnate as this nuisance of a woman. <laughs> I should think not. No finger shall be laid upon the sacrifice of virgin. She was born on the day of the last solar eclipse and is needed for the final ceremony. Uh, did you just say sacrificial version? Uh, yeah, uh, about that. <laughs> oh, it's not my pretty. Fear not. Off with you, Bora... Borasho? Borasho? Grumble, grumble. The great temple rises above the Sierra. Everything the light touches shall soon be mine, engulfed by the blight of the dead world. And you, my dear, will be my queen. Your queen? <laughs> I don't think so. Ah, oh, surely now you'll allow me to roast the Shikita. <laughs> Leave us alone. <laughs> Fuck off, flame face. <laughs> you'll regret those words. You shall be my bride, willing or otherwise. All will be mine. Your proclamations and threats don't impress me. I'm a simple girl and I'll never love a monster like you. Besides, my heart belongs to someone else. Muchita, uh, uh, Muchita, yeah, Muchaita, yeah, Muchaita, how naive. Your heart's desires shall be of little consequence once you cross the, uh, cross the world of the dead with me. Mortal biology doesn't hold up very well on the other side. <laughs> you won't get away with this, you will be stopped. Your overconfidence is your weakness. <laughs> your faith in your friends is yours. Those are Star Trek lines. No, that's, those are Star Wars lines, I'm pretty sure. Oh, good God. Obi-Wan and Vader in the first, uh, in episode four. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> Oops, I wasn't, uh, I hope that wasn't your hero. Ron, no. Foolish girl, this is no fairy tale. Happy endings are for children. Please let me liquefy this furniture door it and be my birthday present. He just really wants to freaking fire someone, be it with his guns or with his fire. The no look an emperor in Jedi. Good old Spurgeon sacrificing. This hero has waited enough of my time. The solar eclipse approaches and much preparation is needed before the final sacrifice. Flame face, I'll be expecting polo frito for dinner. <laughs> Come now, my sweet. We must prepare for the final ceremony. Hurrah. <laughs> I guess you want to hear my story. Nope. <laughs> Holy giblets. <laughs> Sponsored by Tequila Polo Road. What? What? <laughs> And also, I mean, you accidentally made a little mistake earlier. Yeah, uh, what then? If... You said, I think you said Star Trek instead of Star yeah. Wars. Yeah, I, I, I corrected, I think I corrected myself back to Star <laughs> Trek. Oh, and this time you didn't waste his ammo. Oh. oh my 
Finally! And but he still has that stupid troll laugh. How did I manage to get through all of that? <laughs> uh, I, I got lucky there. Get back here, you. Let's deal with this one first. Ugh. Oh. Okay, yeah. Uh, this one's for you. Yep. Or not. Okay, we walked right into that one. Okay. Okay, so when he starts shooting off with his guns instead of his mouth this time, he is going to raise the, well, lava. Bloody heck, this lunatic. Yep. Got him. Okay, I didn't see that he was prepping for that one. Yeah. How could my guns lose to your fists? I can't believe it. Immediately with the booze again. <sighs> You'll never stop him, you know. Once Kalaka completes the final ceremony in the Great Temple above the Sierra, he will merge the worlds together and rule it all. You're doomed. Now please, this is my final moment. Let me die in peace. Snuffed out. Okay, now we need to chase after Kalaka's bony ass to another temple. Oh, dude. And also, I feel like it, the ritual gonna backfire badly, because you know what she was saying there earlier. <laughs> yeah. Also, yep, might as well. How are we going to piss off the goat hermit this time? Nice job with Flameface, man. Makes me almost not hate you as much for breaking all my stuff. <laughs> Alrighty, time for a biggie. Grab onto a wall, and while holding Y, press up to go climb. And I will not have to <laughs> filter this to not give seizures. <laughs> Running up yeah, walls feels I'm exploitable. <laughs> This is one of the several reasons we went with this. Yeah, that less, is pretty well. Hold on. It's less a... editing for the YouTube videos and also less risk of epilepsy on someone watching it live. Yeah. Okay, there, there is something up there, but we'll have to climb all the bloody way back up. Oh dear. Actually, there's no need for that because we can, well, we can still climb up there, but it'll be a different kind of climb. Uh oh. I almost immediately forgot we got a new power. Also, nice. Uh... Oh. Okay, so that also breaks those. Also, is it just me, or does uh, Guan look a bit like. Uh... Uh, what's his name again? From the Emperor's New Groove, the Hans McCronk. He looks a bit like Kronk when he runs. <laughs> when he runs a bit, I think. Or is that just me? I do. I think it's a almost at this point a classical run style for. I don't have to say this. Muscular, muscular top heavy folk. Yeah. There we the go. Question B. Where did this run post start? Oh, wait. I was fully expecting lava here. Uh, hmm. Okay, we, we retained some of the momentum, so we can... That, that is actually a pretty neat trick here. Nice. And, yes, with the powers being rebalanced a bit... Or with the items in the sh that you can get from the shop rebalanced a bit, or the money is also how much you get is also rebalanced. So we get less, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Hmm. I thought 
I don't wonder if we should change back to your normal one or the or the last or what you was the name. For I feel like while well, this costume is good, it's negative that is definitely happening you a lot. Yeah, the, the intenso mode isn't required. It, uh, but yeah, we can we can give Tostada a try. To s she won't play any different. She'll just look at uh, we'll just look a bit different. And actually, this is how we get to this. One. Okay, nice, nice little design. You can use the power that you get in the area uh, to get stuff as you pass back to the other areas. It's good design. Uh, also, these glowing barrels those give intenso. For intensive energy. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's actually skip fighting for a bit. And is there anything over around here? There's something. There's some. Well, yeah. There's an area to the left. There we go. Tin Intensor is ready. Now we're just gotta avoid getting hit. Okay, screw you for that, but... Oops. Yeah, we just get a hell of a lot more damage from Intenso to balance things out. And that's another heart. Nice. I still cannot read whatever the hell that says as it passes by. I'm guessing it means health or something. Stamina, life force, whatever. Okay, we ran we ran through here before, so let's just keep on running. Uh, wait, there's a blue block there. Let's just quickly get to this. Uh, okay, just crane. Okay. Let's go with her normal color. Uh, yeah, normal color. But since we can't, well, we we could probably buy one of the co other costumes, but let's leave it as is it for the moment, and just try to get through here fast. Actually, probably just easier to just get up to the surface without all of these obstacles. I think I just had an evil idea. What then? If they make a third game, I just had an idea how they can uh, make the chicken form more terrifying. And this is where we got, we entered the area through, through the new area, which right. is. Uh, Pico de Gallo? Yeah, that, that is the new area. Pico de Gallo, I'm pretty sure. Uh, what the? Uh, hey! <laughs> no idea for you, Drick, here. <laughs> uh, also, uh, one other thing that was... Some of the billboards have been changed up, like uh, this one here, Strong Bad. Okay. Oh, oh, oh we got... There the, he was... You upgrade the chicken form to a cockatrice. And yeah, there's the blockade that Plain Face made in this version, so it seems we have to go back through here, or at least up to the old Mac. Hello there. And we didn't actually see this earlier, I think. So yeah, this is the world map, or at least the fast travel map. Yeah, I saw the map in general had been upgraded, so I suspect that this one will... Oh, free... What? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the temples now have these warning billboards. <laughs> oh, that too. I also really like the, what the heck, the heck he was talking about, like Ricky with the oh, free. What the heck is oh, free? Is that even a thing? <laughs> Three ounces. Oh. The Ola de la Morte? Really? Hold on. 
It's pretty hard to play Lap for Penta without any lungs. <laughs> it makes it really tough to get a gig around here. <laughs> it makes sense. Wait. And if I don't want to start, you need to return to the living world? Uh, pretty sure not. Oh. Magusta Kalaka, <laughs> really? <laughs> and yeah, Lucha Line. I'm pretty sure we know where that's a reference to. Oh, dear God. Uh, Super Siesta? Is anyone there? They were building this house, and I guess I didn't move fast enough, so they built it around me. Not sure if that was the same line as from the original, but oh well. Uh, seems I forgot this one here. How do we free him? Good question. Uh, oh. We can swap over like this, and hello there. <laughs> I am error. Seriously though, I clearly don't belong here. <laughs> Tell my sister that I'm fine. <laughs> she doesn't have to worry about me. I rather enjoy staying off the side, you know, off to the side of empty rooms. I was starting to get a feeling when, uh, just from the look of him. Uh, for the people who don't know, that is a reference to The Legend of Zelda. I think the second game? Because there is a character there who has, well, a bugged line. That they just they just say, I am error. Okay. I uh. did not know that. <laughs> Thanks for finding error. <laughs> he's fine where he is now. At least I know he's safe. Thanks for going through all that trouble. Here, I don't know what it's worth, but please accept this as your reward. And that's... Okay, another heart piece. His name is Error? Yep. <laughs> okay. Yep, oh, little chick. Uh, complimentary something? Uh, churro. <laughs> you you asked the same thing the first time we passed through here. It's one of those uh, uh, snack oh, I, things. I, I thought it was a new one. <laughs> uh, let's see. I think the location for the uh, <clears throat> the the side quests with the old gra with Iselda Iselda in her kitchen. I think some of the people you ask for stuff for that has been moved, and you can get all of them at the same time now. Uh, I managed to find the, the Chili's you know, one, but I haven't found the other two that we did get in the Gold Edition. So Wait. we might have to look around for them a bit, or... Maybe skip it. Which, it's just which one was Iselde again? It's the, the, the one in the kitchen. Also, I have no fucking idea what that is about. Super Lucha Force? Wait, well, I... Maybe new? Is it supposed to be you've got that... Team Hungry Force or something? Maybe? <laughs> hey there, guess what? I found some treasure, wanna see it? Oh no, the chicken thief! The chicken thief has struck again. He stole my treasure. Please find him and catch him. Really? Good. Uh, Dios mío, Luchador. Have you seen the great temple floating in the sky? Seems like bad news for us all. I think chicken thief. He. He just got robbed by chicken. Yeah. Question is, which of these bloody chickens is it? Anyways, uh, yeah, we can go back to Combo Chicken here, and he has different posters around here now compared to last time. Though no new ones other than the Super Lucha for us. Let's see. Yeah, the, wor the warrior's thirst for knowledge is not easily sated. Would you like to continue your training? Yes. Let's see. Up. A. Longer hold. Up. A. X. X. B. X. 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 Okay. 
Um, X, A, X, X, B, and down X. Oh, missed that one. Yep. Rotten. Yep. These combos aren't needed to know. Oh, <laughs> Ligor, your character is hot. You mean, you, you mean me over here in the corner? Or Tostada here? I'm guessing it's the latter. Don't let go if I pronounced that right. And yeah, welcome to <laughs> both. <laughs> Thank you for that. Um, welcome to the stream. I hope you'll enjoy what you'll find here. There we go. Uh, look, what, uh, X, 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 dot. Oh, okay. Dodge to chase after the asses. Youch, I could feel it from here. Okay, we just get some pay for that. Let's try one more, then we'll go after Kalaka again. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, one, two, three. And immediate. Okay, just immediately move, press it or not. What? One, two, three. Huh? That is what I'm doing here. One, two, three. It's the hottest set of pixels. <laughs> she is dead, though, so uh, keep that in mind before you go you know, go draw any fan art. <laughs> Make sure that would count as necrophilia, even if she is revived. Uh, I mean, it's a, there's another term for it, actually. Revenant or some... Uh, I know that it... No, I forgot. It is a, a term, a very specific term for ghosts. Okay, I can't, can't cheat it by doing that. It, it's rarely mentioned. But I do, okay. don't think it's illegal, but then again... Okay, I'm not seeing how to do this. I think the only reason it's not illegal is because, well, good luck proving you did it with a ghost. <laughs> True. Okay, it, when I press B, uh, right after the exit interrupts the actual attack. There we go. You have to be quick with that one. But not too quick, annoyingly. One, two, A, X, X, B, and then there we go. One, two, three, one, one, two, three, and... Okay, yeah. Follow an old Mac after a three hit combo is really a small window to hit them with. <laughs> You'll never take me alive. <laughs> yeah, that is a really small window to hit land that hit with the old Mac after a three hit combo. Too early. It's it's much easier to hit a special after a two-hit combo, since they're not already flying away. Oh, damn it! to making the sounds or what is who is making the weird sounds over there it's just it's that's to start a sounds okay let's give this one more try then we'll just bail out and out okay it's not that poncho is too tough it's that the combo is too annoying uh, let's see. We need to head over this way? With ours? No, okay, there's something else. Uh, can we at least... Let's see. If you find some cheese, bring it to me. If you find the beans, bring them to me. The tortillas are the last ingredient I need, I promise. Okay. How... Oh, oh, I... I know how we're supposed to get up there already. It's, again, using the same power we just earned. <laughs> those powers... Those sounds are sus. 
Wait, did we get one of these lost ingredients from the dead world? Yeah, that's the chilies. Sierra Monera. Or Mon Monera. Decent hits. Jeez. <laughs> uh, I'm going to guess that falling down there isn't going to do much. Uh, yep. But luckily we just respawn without damage. So. There we go. A bit off to fall short of that. Let's see. Oop. Elite skeletons can use the power of dark energy to teleport. Oh, okay. I don't remember these being a thing. No, do I? What the hell? Yeah, these were not in Guacamole 2. Damn it. Oh, <laughs> he teleports right into the head. Okay. More silver. I'm, I'm pretty sure that was the same sound effect that plays when you win a level in one of the, in at least one of the Five Nights at Freddy's games. That little yay. Maybe. Uh, let's up this one. And let's see. We have 15. So, Juanita, really? Uh, flying kicks, street smarts, but she's that she has a standard. Uh, Polo. Yeah. Hmm. So we save for one of the later. Oh, oh, okay. So if you unlock it, one of the types, you unlock it for both characters. That's nice. That is nice. Hmm. I, I really like, like to look at this one. Yeah, the, the effects are curious. I think uh, save up for for if we can. Let's see if we can get forty silver again for the Diablo suits. Oh, oh, spread shots. Oh, the heck? Wanna, are we gonna see elite chupacabras? No, probably not. Nope. Here comes the armadillos. Well, what they apparently call armadillos. Yep. And I didn't take a single hit there, I think. That went well. Very well. Okay, we can't run up these because they're sloped. At an angle, at the very least. And this way. Uh, I, I hope there's not going to be an elite giant skeleton. Damn it, got hit, man. Let's see. As long as your character is not a goat, you should be safe from Chukakabras. <laughs> well, with how annoying they've been so far, I think we can say otherwise. Yeah, and I think, at least from the real life encounters claimed, at least, is they don't attack only goats. They attack, well, anything. I think they got the name due to the, the goats were the first victim. And the most common victim. Oh, actually, we have ten so. Screw to both of you. Yep. And me, apparently. There we go. <laughs> too many, too many. What the heck? Okay, we. You can extend your intenso mode somewhat by keeping a combo going. Uh, 
There we go. Okay. Yeah, from seeing that fight, I feel like... Yeah, we may want to... Avoid the warrior might uh, costume for a bit. Yeah, like, sure, it does make us hit harder, but... Without the, the intense order, that fight would probably been way too hard. Yeah, not too hard, but it definitely would have taken longer. Let's see. There. Yep. Did not mean to robe and almost saved it, but then I did not. Okay. Uh not go too low. Uh, ow! It's <laughs> run straight into the freaking thorns. So I I guess I should have seen it coming, especially now that they've done it multiple times. <laughs> okay. So it's a new Add trick they're probably going to be pulling. <laughs> uh, ow. There we go. There we go. And we're out. Okay. Come on. Two in a row behind that. Okay. Did they actually fall to their death, or are they just... There they go. <laughs> the timing. <laughs> we go after them. You were not done with them, apparently. And hello. Let's see. Let's upgrade this as well some. Spread things out a bit. Now then. How much coins do we have? Uh... Silver coins, you mean, or the pesos? Yeah, uh, silver coins. Yeah, we have 17. Oh. What the hell are you doing up here? Luchador, the bridge is busted up ahead. It was the only part. It was the only direct path through the top of the Sierra. Okay, so Sierra means mountain. The Pico, de, uh, the, yeah, the Pico de Gallo lies just below us, and some say there is a a way to get further into the mountains through the Pico. Be sure that might mean tra might mean volcano because uh, this is a volcano. That was a deep fall. Pico de Gallo. Campus what? Camposanto? The giant stone door blocking the entrance to the great volcano has opened. Evil energy is coming from the volcano. Is this it? The end of the world? Okay, are, are we going through here again? Uh, yeah, we, we are going through a portion of this again. This is not the entire new area, but it is over to the left there. Huh. Well, uh, uh, you know what? I got a Spanish book about... That's uh, uh, some years ago. Yes, I just bought it because I felt like it could be good to have one. Okay, and... Pico de Gallo is a salsa dish? Okay. Probably a very Wait, spicy it... one. I'm going to take a, a bit of a guess with that. Yeah, I feel like that, uh, that probably would be the pun. Hello. Wait. Uh, did you used to have a twin or something? Oh. Dear gods. Okay. Danger. Keep out. Do not enter. <laughs> okay. Mm. Oh, I'm, I'm, ah, there you are. If, what are you doing? If you expect me to resurrect your compadre, you'd better hold up at your end of the bargain. You promised me an endless army of skeletons. Where are they? Grand Kalaka, our forces grow not only in number, but ferocity. Also, you'll be happy to know we've been working on our stretch goals too. <laughs> oh. Allow me to present... Baby Kalaka. 
<laughs> Let's write a special patch for all our backers. What? D did they did they crowdfund this game and they're poking fun at themselves? Let's see. It contains jalapenos, so going to say yes, very spicy. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, in the uh, in the bit that we missed, these are the t we would have ran into these. Well, three technically one. These are the terrible trio, and they they're the ones who have been making all of the skeletons we've been smashing. Oh. And yeah, the reason they're doing that is because Kalaka promised that he would uh, resurrect the fourth member of their band for them. It, which I'm guessing he's not going to do now. <laughs> what is the meaning of this? Are you my mommy? <laughs> the fools have had enough of your shenanigans. Now build me an army. Of course, Grand Kalaka. Our efforts will be redoubled. Uh, Come on, baby Kalaka. There's some more warm milk warm eating for you back home. What? An, um, that is a warning. Yep. And let's see here. I have the book. Let's see. Sierra, Sierra. Not the game company. I know. <laughs> I doubt the Dean Company is in a Spanish book. <laughs> uh. Okay, so we can't run on the gooped areas. Nice bit of info. <clears throat> Sierra is mountain range. Okay. <laughs> nice to know. But Wait. And then the basically the double redundant when you people say the Sierra Mountains? <laughs> Apparently. Oh bloody heck, it, it, it's like, like, the, like the Great Sahara Desert. When you translate it to English fully, it's the Great Great Desert Desert. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. So you think they only need to see the Sahara? Okay, so the hero slew whatever beast that was. Ow. Oh, we have to be careful here. A capitated with a cricket bat with obsidian glass. That is impressive. Yeah, th those things hurt like all fuck and they were meant to... <laughs> Yeah, they were meant to hurt. Yes, it's, well, it's more, it's less supposed to act like a blade and more like a, a ow. Okay, this is going to be tricky. They were more like, uh, yeah, the, the glass, the shards of obsidian were meant to break off and, well, get stuck in the wounds to cause, well, infection and bleeding. Yeah. A pretty nasty weapon. It, uh, it makes you wonder why. Well, why not? <laughs> it's a weapon it's supposed to kill and slay. Yeah, but there's a there's a little unnecessary uh, cruelty. Well, the mines weren't the most uh, wholesome people on that front. Damn it! Okay, this is going to. This is going to take a bit. I'm gonna put my boot aside. I, I get the gimmick is weird. This is happening in a. This is happening in a freaking volcano, so it shouldn't have this easy response. But still, this is a bit. What? There we go. Okay, this really is the point of learn to dodge and maneuver. There you go. Bots ready. Any more? Of course, there's more. Uh, of course, they're all down smash shielded. 
get over here and get cooked. The Eloxes of their... It interests you. There we go. Oh, okay. Now this same as before, but now we need to swap between. Actually, there we go. Reset our land checkpoints, so we don't get sent all the way back. Mm. Only to land in the lava for the la on the last bit there. Yep. No, you're freaking don't. We have enough Intenso. Let's see. Oh. Another so boss sob. I think it was called. I think it's all called boss sob. I think so. Yeah. Oh, we almost fell in. And that should be another hell. Yep. Still very colorful, but a lot less uh, likely to cause problems. Go. Actually, is there anything... No, there's a... Yeah, there. Oh, actually. Give me a second. I think we can move on. Yep. Okay, just. Okay. Half panic moment. I thought we were going to fall. There. Let me get fit with that. Let's see. Okay. Rise well done. up. Chicken routes. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure this is all extra area as well, since, well, I'm pretty sure we actually... I don't know if the volcano area itself is extra or not, or that it's just the, uh, the side area that was just added in. Still, it is an interesting place. Let's go up and down. We I only go up here. It was so damn long ago I watched uh, a Let's Play of this. Yep. Okay, it's a bit of a recharge. Okay, so all of the powers you need to land again before you can use them, not just the uppercuts. There you go. Uh, go. Oh, oh, damn it. No. I was expecting that. The higher one first. Yeah, I think we need. Something that like upgrades our attack power. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. At least that gets to show that it is damage, but it's not fatal damage. Yeah, that, that was not very big damage, but these ones I feel may do too much damage to uh, risk it. Yep. Okay, still not lethal damage. I. I think in some parts in Guacamelee they did they were an instant kill if the big ones went off. Might well, could have been the special ones of them. Yeah, it could also be that you nerfed them in this game. Could be, yeah. They are really annoying. Yeah, I am also surprised that they nerfed them due to uh, play feedback and that they were a bit unnecessarily difficult. Like 
that's difficult and that's the unnecessary difficult. Okay, neat. We can change the, the lava. Uh, well, we can solidify the lava. On, well, not really on command, but uh, where it is. Uh, another fun fact on this game, it's less than a full gigabyte. So, yeah, you, you can play, <laughs> you could probably play this on your freaking phone. I kinda hope not. Ow. Like, the gra no, actually the graph, most phones these days are pretty decent with graphics. So, I, it could be entirely possible, I think. Oh, that, that's not my concern. No. It's the controls. True, yeah. <laughs> that, that, would, that would be an issue. I, I still feel a bit mixed about what I have, at least during the pandemic, started to do ads for a the, what do they call it, the first official gaming phone. Nope, back here. But no, this I is don't not think it's here. true. I think there has been other attempts to make gaming phones, though they flopped before even they began. Okay, now I see what happens. He slew the guardian of the volcano, but the guardian was keeping the volcano from erupting, or the body no, is no. the volcano, sort of. The body is the volcano. That, that's his body. Yeah. I, I'm guessing that there is some uh, a bit of metaphor with some of these murals and that they aren't yeah. completely uh, accurate. Yeah, and wait. The lava is way too... I don't think this is normal lava to begin with here. I think that this is his blood. Uh... Very likely. But typically, it's a bit more chunky because of all of the molten rock and such. Yeah, but here they, they, they like, sure they, like we said before, many times they in the games made them a bit, a bit too liquefied. But this lobby is way more liquefied than usual in games. And it, this one is even. Quite a lot bubbling. Hmm. Hello. Uh, hello. Oh dear. Skeleton is complaining of joint pain and weak bones. Skeleton cow is not producing milk. We must meet uh, the uh, we must meet the quotas, or Kalaka will never resurrect our p dear Pedro. Fibula, fibula. It's it's also complicated. You know, there's 27 bones in our hands. Their hands are just giant spikes. <laughs> Maybe you, know, you got your hands dirty for a change. These elegant fingers must be preserved for picking. Besides, you know, some people are just natural managers, and with picking he means just uh, destroying off the guitar uh, of the strings with a guitar pick. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> On that note, let the inspection commence. It actually different sized. Le okay, let's have a look. See, this one looks fine. Oh, feisty! I like this one. Oh my! What a <laughs> fine bone structure. Let's see what you can do. The great screeching Skeletor. What? The screeching Skeletor? What? <laughs> okay, that one came so far out of left field that smacked me on the right cheek first. <laughs> Send these ones off to that wretched forest. Let's stay on track. Next batch. Really? Where does. Yes, yes. Now this is more like it. Excellent. Another fine candidate. Three out of three. I think that's a new record. So 
Okay, I would ask if you are blind, but neither of you have eyes. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hey, where's your sombrero? <laughs> well, it says Flashman from the ca canal. Uh oh. You're proving harder to get rid of than a wild, uh, than that wild pack of dogs that chases out of Santa Lucita. <laughs> Who would have thought a day at the puppy petting zoo could turn so quickly? <laughs> You're fritting bones. Of course they're going to go after you. Uh... Meat man, you've wasted enough of our, of our time. We've got prototypes to complete and quotas to meet. Why don't you take our latest creation for a spin? Uh, yeah, I think that that was Ooh, meant fuck. for Yuan. Yeah. Uh, that skull. Oop. It looks That's like a monkey skull. Yeah, King Kong. It... Yeah, something along that line. I think this is a Yayan gorilla, and not a yai, regular Yayan. Uh, oh, he turned around with that, and I, yeah, that I guess that confirms this is extra from the uh, deluxe edition. Ah, oh, damn it! Also, if, oh, we are low on health. Uh, I don't know if this was in the gold edition as well, but it, we, also gave, we also got a bit of an explanation that white and purple objects can't, and attacks can't be dodged, like the hammer of the hammer time there. There we go, heal. Yeah, probably good is to start swapping back to you on here, I feel like. There's not one of you getting closer to the end. Let's see. Let's just go back to normal. It was fun playing as uh, for a bit. Damn. Okay, that's a bit bullshit that they attack the second they come out. Holy. Go for a move combo. Of course. Yep. Okay, I wanted to grab the up. Grab. You go through that. The stick is a bit picky at times about what is an uppercut and what is a side dash. Or a dashing derp derp. <laughs> uh. Yeah, th this game is just an amazing sense of humor with everything. Yeah, I like this game a lot. I, I was not able to handle playing it, but I do enjoy watching it and enjoy the humor. Okay, that was that was just a fail on my end. I forgot that it would the platform would vanish again whilst I was standing on it. Again there. <laughs> okay, that'll be a clip. Uh, uh, not easy being healed. What the? Yeah, that that's oh. the replay getting saved. All right. Uploading. Yeah, whenever there's a little, whenever there's an extra thing that pop, an extra screen or you no know, tab, when an extra thing pops up on the uh, second monitor where OBS is running, it ba oh, it blinds Drakir for a bit because for some reason that causes it to <laughs> causes it to just go completely white on the Discord screen share. Yeah. Don't know why. I could probably try and find out 
what it actually does, what actually causes it, but I get the feeling it'd be an absolute pain in the ass to actually fix. Yeah, though it's not too bad as a door, though it doesn't happen way too much. There we go. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> Bases in the living world, skulls in the right. For a moment, I, yeah, I was thinking they op they open their eyes when they go into the dead world, but there's no skin to cover the eyes with. <laughs> uh oh. the door. Okay, the, the frog slump comes out a bit too slow to interrupt his attack there, so we just go over. There we go. Now, what are these... I'm not sure if we saw those purple blocks before in Gold Edition, but I have seen them multiple times now, and... Really that quick? But, oh wait, you're you're changing shield colors. Okay. But that's kind of cool. Very annoying, but cool. Yeah, but it's not not too bad. So it means it will, means you have more options to deal with them. Oh, an elite version of you. Should have seen that coming. Please stay out of this. This is a private affair between me and the Four Blades. Or Windmill or whatever they were called. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah that's they called me Windmill. I would, there. I would hope that elite ones we get a special... Uh, some different names. Yeah, they're just called, well, elite versions. Elite skeleton, elite windmill. There's someone, there's one around here somewhere. I can hear their... Does it look like they have lightsabers? A, a bit. It, 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 can't avoid that. It does look like they're on fire or something. Or at least extremely heated. Oh no. So, uh, Really, these here? Any more? Okay, <laughs> got that a bit close. Yeah. Please. I don't think we'll be getting any Intenso boosts. But maybe we can get some of the... Uh, Wrestling move bonuses. There we go. Hello there. Yeah. Okay, I wanted to. Sp I wanted to uh, hit them with the derp, derp, <laughs> but mistimed that jump a bit. Go. Uh, yep, okay. There we go.
I am there mostly bottom mashing in the fights, not really trying to go for any specific combos or anything. So Intenso and a chicken passage. Uh oh. Okay. They aren't too tough anymore if we pull up all four moves in a row on them. That is out almost enough to kill them. Still not in. <clears throat> Just enough, but still enough to put a good amount of hurt on them. Now what is this? Okay. For a moment I thought it was going to stay shut, but no. Now, what are the three boneheads up to over here? This is the same chamber as before. We did the bars were just a shortcut to get back up here. Also, good level design. Yeah, so many bones. Uh oh. Yep. Wait, coal it here. Okay. What? Um. to overdo it a bit less with uh, using powers too soon because of oh, new power I do run out a bit too fast when if in case one of those piñata things shows up anyways how can we annoy your Chivo again I think that's about how you pronounce it Rechivo that was it that was my last statue you win, Luchador. Here's your final power. Grab onto a wall and while holding by <laughs> the coach fly. Okay. <laughs> You're just naming that one after yourself. Good luck, Luchador. He's so not happy. Well, maybe he shouldn't have put all of those moves into those expensive statues. Like, he could have put them into bottles. Or something. Yeah. That's... Can I... Okay, I can't jump out of it. So, do this. And, uh, and miss. There we go. Get reset, but the block doesn't. So there we go. Oh, and we get more stamina. Nice. They probably be very needed. Yeah, there's I think there's still a good few that we didn't pick up so far. Uh, hmm. Okay, we can't. Uh, oh, oh. Nice. Hey, not everything you see. Like that. This. <laughs> well, that 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 looks like what somebody from Happy Wheels level. <laughs> yeah. Did I say that right? Happy Wheels level? Or did, did you say? Oh, right. Did you think you almost said Happy Mule level? Yeah, I thought. I thought. Wait, did, did I say the right thing or did I say Happy Meal? Oh, sneaky! They're adding in spiked ones, and more and more spiked ones. Get on there. 
The same music again as the Temple of Rain and War, but it is a nice little track. Oh yeah. So basically the dungeon music. Can't you the warrior to slay the giant? I think so. Nope. Coin is coin. And coin is upgraded. Hello, mammoth. Spreading a bit close to the <laughs> blades there. Is it a mammoth or a mastodont? Master don't? What? Master don't. Master don't. Okay, I almost heard that as don't. A master don't. <laughs> How would that be comparison? Like a, a master don't and then just an empty picture. A master don't. <laughs> Come on. Oh god, I just remember. I don't really watch Pop of Girls, but one one episode I walked in uh, on uh, what to change. And I think I saw the most annoying hero ever, who was called Mastodont. Sure, Boris Pod would be a bit of a unique superhero name, but good gosh, he was laying the whole Superman stereotype a little bit way too heavy. Damn it. I had like three chances there to get onto bloody land. <laughs> Okay. Lunch. Is it the bird? Is it the plane? No, it's Super Luchador. <laughs> oh, gosh, I knew that one was coming. Five hundred in that. Okay. Then again, I I'm pretty. Yeah, luchadors have a have a reputation of being well uh, superheroes in the Mexican culture, or at least being treated like them. Quickly get up before we burn our asses. Oh, and these things. These are called beatboxers, and yeah. You run into them into the in the first new area as well, and they are used as the out example of white and purple attacks being undodgeable. Actually, oh, managed to get through that. And not that one. Then. Yep. The Okay. Hold on. Okay, the, the... For some reason, the two Kakabras are in both round, uh, both worlds in this case. Uh, yeah, they are annoying, as you can see. Especially with... Especially with these pests in the air. Yeah, but when they... One or two Kakabras, they're not too hard. As I quickly get some sort of support, they will become the harassers. They become very annoying. And yeah, Glassy, well, I agree. Very oof. At the very least, we can now try and stay up in the air a lot more. There we go. And we frog slam and just give you the whole. I feel like Rogue Slam might be a reference to another game. What then? Which then? Toast. Would not be surprised. And uh, no, you shall not play Battletoads. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Piss off, you freaking balloons. I said fuck off. Mm. 
disrupting the fight. And that is what is most knowing about them now. Yeah, the other ones are meant to be a distraction. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure they were going to keep spawning there until we got rid of that. It's... Need 14 more. That's yeah, another lead one here. Okay. Ah, ah, freaking blender. Okay, not the program. What? Oh, right. There's a program called that. I was really yeah. thinking on a regular blender. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, we got, we got about a half an hour left. Okay. There's an intensor upgrade up there. Let's see. Can we get to that? Okay, we can through a drop that point there. Uh hmm. <coughs> Pico Skull Room? What? Skulls, bones, 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 skulls. What the heck is going on? Tell Kalaka we agreed, agreed on 10,000 Skeletos. Now it's his turn to deliver. You said 10,000. Uh, 10, <laughs> he said he's subtracting the 500 destroyed by that mask muscle fella. But I, I think we might have done a bit more than 500. <laughs> what? Give me that telephone. <laughs> now listen here, you noodle waving wiener hosted. We had a deal. <laughs> Galaka, you reneging rooster wrangler. This isn't over. Oh, it's all over. We're cursed to forever be the terrible Srio. No Pedro, no reunion tour. No Abelita, uh, Abelita rewards. I, I, I have no Abelita? I'm on the show on that one myself. This is all because of that Demise Dingus smashing up all our creations. Yeah. That Demise? Uh, that, that Demise Dingus behind us? You, you have done all our work. You killed Pedro. We only killed 500 according to Kalaka. So that's like uh, 5% five, five of your work. Uh. Let's get him. Okay. Pro Musica and V. Music provided, I'm guessing that's supposed to be. Also. The music is very 8-bit here. Ow. Yep. <laughs> really on that bird swoop around? That's enough reverse. Re yeah. That's enough re rehearsing. I think it's time we usher in the crowd. Yeah. Oh, you're prepping in. They were prepping something there. They were glowing white and purple. Oh, okay, just means we can't hit them. So we just gotta hit them with the peanut gallery. Really, some record scratch. Wow, that crowd sure turned on this. <laughs> sure turned on us. Are we losing our touch? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Nope. Oh, hello. Remix. <laughs> okay. 
Wait, is that way? Okay. One head is taken out. But he's still active. Oh, or not. Oh, okay. Oh, new face. Uh, oh, can I not hit any of you now? Yeah, yeah we can still hit you. Oh, we are take. Okay, more time dodging. Okay, we can knock their heads out, and then they become untouchable for a while. Okay. Yeah, but, but that tombo looks like an orc skull with big pink tails. There we go. <laughs> Boss, I can't feel my legs. Those were my legs, and I can't feel them either. Pedro, is that you? <laughs> Come closer. Pedro, dear friend, you returned. At last, Kalaka has reported our rewards. We may lie broken, but time is up for that pesky luchador. The mortal world's destruction is assured. Uh, I hear the voices of angels. Hush now, my boy. It won't be much longer. Yep. <laughs> no encore, really. And look who we have up here again. What? Oh! <laughs> Man, he isn't missing anymore. <laughs> oh, and here he is again. Or his twin. What I guess he's going be... Uh... Oh, you're still here. But I... Wait, didn't they vanish? You might have activated a little bug there. Ah, oh, I see. There's it. This way. Yep. This way. Okay, that was fun. That's plus five. We have 31. Okay. Yep, nice. Cool and, uh, what the heck is those bones? Is that Ridley? Samus and, <laughs> and Metroid. Maybe. Actually, he doesn't have that many eyes. What is, what is that yet and still? Okay. See? Almost getting our first Intenso upgrade. For now... Actually, let's see. Where is it? Only 52% here. Okay, then what did we miss all? Oh, there, oh, there's something we missed. Okay, sneaky. For now, though, let's head on out. And... Oh, actually, we are, were supposed to get to that... To the volcano through here. Or through the volcano to the Sierra Madre. Oh, great. Oh, I, I completely missed that there was a door here. In my defense, the screen I have is still a little bit smaller than you lot have. I didn't even notice the door until you put it out. Let's see, not enough. Okay. Damn it. Thought so. Oh, the, oh, the. Well, that's a straightforward name. Yep. Damn it. Pressing the wrong button. Okay, at least they don't deal too much damage. It's still an annoying amount. Oops. 
Ash. Mm -hmm. I'm not a flying beach ball. These enemies exist only to be annoying. It was actually the right shield attack. Okay. Give me that. Up. Get out. Oh, hello, it's been a bit since we've seen you. I admire your fighting spirit, Luchador. But you cannot win in the face of such power. Do not follow me any further. If you do, these mountains will be the end of you. Yeah, you don't <laughs> you're not the boss of me, kitty cat. I say as I almost fall down fall down the mountain. Yeah. Oh dear. Apparently there I missed a box or two boxes in this area before. Hmm. Okay, let's just follow him. No, he, he already broke the bridge ahead of us this time. Okay, he knew we were not going to listen. Joke's on you this time. <laughs> yep. I was going to miss with where it threw it, and instead I just walked face first into it. Okay. Actually, how much damage do those things do to the big boys? If I can catch it. Normal damage, okay. okay. I'm pretty sure the cactus ones don't drift turning guacamole too. And I'm unsure if I would have wanted them gone instead of the exploders or not. But I might just be misremembering. Well, the exploders are more annoying than the cactus. Yeah. Let's see. I was about uh, to say go. ten minutes later. Yeah, I was wondering where the shouldn't we already hit something? I knew that I knew there was something up here. Oh, coin. Another five, so we are only three shorts from a snazzy suit. Da, 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 da. Enjoy the in-flight movie again. <laughs> I, bet, I guess you like that uh, one. <laughs> Across again. We're getting loads of air miles. It, oh. Okay, I, I thought we were still in the cinematic bit. <laughs> oh dear God, Helian. I, I should remember, these cinematics are on when the, the black bars are, appear on the screen. Okay, so this is just a showcase that you can use the Goat moves to cause damage. And these these are blue. Red. Okay, yeah, here they are instant kills since they will send us into this the blades. Oh, that is a horrible room. Not impossible, but painfully annoying. Okay, the, the blue ones are more fragile. Oh, 
come on. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Actually, we can just... We can just hold Y to stick to the walls as well. That is also a small change from the gold edition to super maximum hyper <laughs> uh, champion edition. So we don't constantly have to hold the button to the opposite side of the wall. Come on! Same thing happened there where he let go of the wall instead of doing the move. Ugh. Okay. The first one is always in the opposite dimension of where we are, it seems. Beauty. Yes. Oh, oh, nice idea for a combat room should have been done with less. Oh, no, you are not in the... Okay. That's it was wrong. I think this one would be fine if it was shorter. Like, uh, less foes. Yeah. Why did you just... Uh, yeah, that, that's kind of the reason why I say it should be shorter for... That is bound to happen! There we go. You know it, the, the blue ones have a shorter timer, though. That is... Yeah, a bit of a trade-off. Mm. Okay. Let's try and at least finish this room off. There's hopefully a checkpoint after this. I hope, hope they say oh, that also works. One. I can just hold Y to cling to the wall. And then just move the stick to the opposite of the wall. Okay, that that is a nice little uh, option. There we go. Okay, we we got close each time. Clo close. Ugh. Oh come on, just one. And go. Okay, and no, not going back down. I'm just checking for any you know, hidden stuff. Uh, yeah, across again. Up. Up <laughs> what the heck? Derpy first to the face. There was something down there, but there we go. Did we get enough? No, we only have like 300 and change. Oh, now we're going to Uh oh. Okay, man is bull. I say just as they start to get closer together. I was expecting to actually hit one there. Same. Uh, he just okay. somersaults away to style on us. Get here, scary cat. Let me uh, accent those spots with some bruises. Come on. 
Hello, Omek. Goodbye, Omek. <laughs> You've come a long way, Lichador. I'll give you that. Not everyone can make it through the Sierra. Unfortunately, I made it here as well, and my job is to kill you. It's been centuries since I fought a, a worthy opponent. May the best men win. With the best cat. Volcano Arena, 7 p.m. Ooh. Ooh. Can't dodge that. Can't dodge that, though. Got a full combo. Okay. Shoot. Angry caddy. Oop. Jump out of that quick. I may be trying. Maybe I'm trying to. Oop. Combo up the attacks a bit too much, so that they, I end up missing a bunch of them. How did that? Okay, finish this off. Proceed to get my ass kicked. <laughs> I only get like one hit with that in. Okay. Just in time. Yep. Enough. You have bested me, Luchador. I was wrong to doubt your spirits. Just when I had lost all faith in humanity and resigned myself to the coming age of the dead, I see that hope, love and perseverance still burn within your kind. Perhaps I should have tried to stop Kalaka myself, but cowardice eclipsed my honor. I doubted my own strength. It was never my true choice to serve him. Galaka forced my hand by threatening to kill my ancient master. I'm a bad kitty. Please leave me here to lick my wounds. <laughs> Way to undercut your uh, heartfelt <laughs> speech there at the, right at the end. Yeah, what the heck? Licking his wounds. Also, what exactly are you? I know from a... A show I watched, uh, what was it again, Equinox something, or Equinox, yeah, that's the second word, not Obsidian, mm. uh, it, it was a, it was a show based on, uh, <clears throat> Aztec mythology, and there was some sort of guardian beasts there, or servant beasts, I forget the specifics, uh, I think, I think it was supposed to have a second season, but I'll have to, you know, I'll have to see if it did get that or not. And he didn't give um, us a single freaking coin. I do, I do know they use Aztec usually have a lot of uh, Jaguar statues and all that. Oh. Poor Jaguar. One, make sure to punch Kalaka in the face for me. Do that, and we will become bros. And in accordance with the bro code, your mother will become off limits. Maybe. Anyways, the great temple lies ahead, and within it, Kalaka. Before you proceed, you should head back home and power up. The journey forward will be perilous. Very obvious point of re no return. Oh, hello, Tostada. Be careful, Inja Juan. John. I still have no freaking idea how to actually pronounce it. Kalaka is going to throw everything he has at you. And also, was, did they re re a, a in a How I Met Your Mother joke? Maybe. Really? Let's see. Yeah, we may need to turn away because... Of, wait, do we actually need to jump down? No, we need to fly over. Okay, there, there are some things that we need to collect to get the true ending. 
It always looked like we were going to hug him there. Hmm. I'm presuming we can still fly over and then return. I'm hoping there's an Olmec... Uh, an Ol Olmec statue there. Why was I thinking of Almanac? Which is a type of bird. Just zooming out more and more. Nom. Oh, wait. Our, uh, do we have... Okay, we do have a service to jump back out. Good, luckily. Okay. Bye-bye. I, I was expecting there to be a, a bit beforehand. Wait. Okay, is it really a point? Okay, that might be a bit... Uh, that might be a bit of an oops then. Okay, uh, I'm going to hope that there's going to be a, an old mech statue around here somewhere. Yeah, it would I... make sense, or otherwise this could be rather punishing for a player to be unable to get more upgrades. Yeah, they did warn us that it was a point of no return. I just expected the point to be a little further away. Oh, full of alien. Like not literally the moment you take off here, it's it's an uh, end game. Yeah, I missed that due to be uh, temporary pixelation. Or else I should, would have stopped you. Damn it. And let's see what okay, we have time. Yeah, I'm hoping that there will be an Olmac somewhere around here. If I can freaking smash this stupid skeleton. Go. Uh, what? Nope. Okay, for a moment I thought that the game crashed, but apparently it got deselected or something. Uh, the crash there actually might have been useful. So no, it would have saved upon us entering, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but that was a checkpoint there. And that. One silver oh, away. Come on. Uh, what? I'm guessing this is plain place to face a stash. So this uh, this place only rose up today, so this is probably um, probably Kalaka stash. That or they uh, he put in some stash in it. Uh... Before they went away. Yep. Bye bye. It doesn't give us as, as much money because we don't get as much of a combo out of them. But I'd rather deal with these more than just. <laughs> really? <laughs> It just walked off itself. It, it just gave up. Well, what's so the, why are all of these full Mac headbots? It, it, it could have been very dizzy from the smell. Uh, smell. Smell them. Uh, from the smash. I went Swedish there. And yeah, smell means smash. Okay, so you can literally smell it when you get hit in the face? Uh, different letter! Different letter! Okay. Smell! Uh, oh, blood, they just sound way too similar. I, I didn't realize that until now. Yeah, why are all of these for the Olmec? Like an evil Olmec hiding around here or something? Uh, hmm. Okay. I guess we can call it here. 
I'm hoping that it'll put us back right here when we return, because we are out of time now. So... Yeah. Good thing that we did switch, even though it was about halfway through the, through the game. And, uh, yeah, before... Someone is going to make the joke, so, uh... Draw, you, you know, draw me like your ass tag girls. <laughs> what? That, that's a actual statue pose they do. Yeah, but it's similar to the meme, so I'm making that joke as well. What? Either way. He has a little bit of ball. <laughs> what the heck? It just has to be similar. It doesn't have to make sense. For now, though, let's actually go look for someone to raid. So change the screen share to Twitch. Make double sure that the place is muted. And let's see. We've got a good amount of people online. We have Nico Silverado again. Who is again streaming uh, streaming Ark Survival Evolved. Apparently he yeah, it's as it says here in the title, it's a community server. And people are welcome to join. Though you did uninstall Ark and make replace it with PixArk, so I, I haven't I only installed the DLCs at the moment. I haven't only installed the vanilla yet. Okay. Since uh, basically the, the DLCs, even the small ones, made up about 100 gig. Yeah. Okay. Maybe uh, maybe we can join them uh, for some uh, fun sometimes. They are a friend of a friend. So... Yeah, I doubt it. For this, it's a few order. Sure, few order is 33 gig, but... Still Again, big. I played over 1,000 hours on this, which surprised me. For I bought this shortly after Pixel, uh, not shortly after, but I feel around the pandemic. And uh, yeah, I played it way too much. Okay. I, I don't hate it. I don't hate it, but I just pray the Arc 2 is better optimized and not a shunk. Yeah. Yep. Apparent oh, Tatum just went online. Uh, they just haven't Ooh. shown up over here yet. Let's go jump over to them. Uh, let's see, they'll be they'll be streaming Star Stable. Okay, they they they, have, they like horses, so I'm presuming that is a horse game. Uh, wait, teaching a Pikachu how to ride a horse, part two, electric boogaloo. <laughs> okay, what? Uh, that that's uh, they're talking about uh, Pika. What's I'm I'm stupidly from blanking on their name. The Pika girl, uh, Pika is part of their name at least or nickname. Uh, but yeah, they they did talk about uh, that they streamed with them before. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Let's just quickly go through the other people who are on from top to bottom. In this case because. I'm thinking we just rate Tatum, but we still give the others a look. Yeah. Let's see. We have K9 with Diablo 4, Kiri Natsuyoko with Medal of Honor. Okay. That's an old one. Is it actually which version is this? Uh oh, they're on a on a break after five hours of streaming. <laughs> get get some rest. Get some freaking rest. Uh Karen Nai. We're streaming King of the Castle, which is got getting pretty popular. Uh, Resident Evil 4 with Horatius the Dwarf. Yeah, this, they, they, a game they played a lot recently, Dark and Darker. Apparently, they've gotten into legal struggles uh, due to DCMA and uh, yeah, other stuff. Apparently, the game they were making, the Dark and Darker, was based on or. A, too similar to a different game that the uh, that the developer they were working for was working on or something. I forget the specifics because I haven't actually read them. That's just what I've heard. So oh, that dear. game might be dead. Oh hmm. right, it's like the, the another game. I forgot its name, but it was another game that was got very public quickly, but then it got removed from Steam due to apparently one of the workers on it. Was a former worker of Wildcard, and they had illegally brought over the code from Ark to work on that game. Okay, yeah. If that, don't do that, that, that is, anymore. if it's true. True. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Next up, we have Zoe, who is streaming Final Fantasy XIV online. That is getting a lot of attention again recently, and 
as I say that, I'm nice is also streaming that. Uh, I'm thinking of re-upping my subscription for a month on that again, because Tatum and some uh, friends have been playing that a lot recently. Uh, but I'll just see about that. Uh, I will need time to actually play the game, of course, because otherwise it would be uh, money wasted for a 30-day subscription. Yeah, that's why I don't like subscription games, for it kind of almost forces you to play them or feel like you're wasting money. True. Uh, I, I've i never actually played it. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I think Final Fantasy XIV was the first online game that I actually paid to play uh, for... Like, before that, I only had, like, free stuff and buy to play, like Guild Wars and Guild Wars 2. Uh, anyways, moving on, we have WPPL76 streaming Mech Warrior Online. Okay. Uh, that was the first Mech Warrior game I ever played. Pretty fun, but it is tough to get into. Not much uh, use of the tutorial and such. Uh, we have Touch Shaley Tail with Minecraft. Let's see, Vault Hunters, it seems. Vault Hunters mod pack, it seems. Oh, from that the description. <laughs> And uh, then we have Puffle Cakey, who is just chatting at the mer moment. Merry Marchmas. What? Are they doing a chat stream or something? And let's see. Yeah, we already, you know, saw, in, in case I didn't speak of them, Sour Walrus is streaming Resident Evil 4. And then Frain started with Barrow Trauma. Okay, any of those or go tease Tatum? Hmm. I'm tempted to, uh, to first to read. Uh... Hmm. This is a hard choice. Either Frain or Touch Scaly Tail. Okay, no Tatum, who just went. Uh, <laughs> they went from. <laughs> okay, they went from starting soon to. Brief intermission, BRB. They think they hit the wrong button. <laughs> okay. Uh, who uh, was it again? Frain or? Frain or Touch Scaly Tail. This is a weird name, I should say. Touch Scaly Tail. <laughs> I feel I'm like I don't need a context for that name. Or maybe I shouldn't ask for context for that one. I'm going to think about it. I'm going to regret that one. All right, uh, let's go jump in at with Frain then. It's been a bit since I've been able to play Barrow Trauma with Beanie and Co. Actually, it's been a long. It's been a bit since Beanie has been online in a while. So I'm I'm thinking things are either busy with his work. He he is a teacher after all, so that is always a busy thing. Or there's just stuff going on at the moment. Uh, but yeah, for now, just copy the name. Head on over to our place and slash raid po paste. And before we go, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Uh, thank you, Glacier Boy. Uh, who else? Ghost Howl. And there was someone else. Let's see. Go yeah. Ghost Howl. Glacier Boy. And there was a third. Liargore. Liargore. Thank you for chatting along, all of you. And uh, yeah, I see a few more names lurking there, so hi. <laughs> And thank you as always, Dirk, here. You're welcome as always, my friend. Uh, now, no late stream today. We are already close to the time that we would normally stream for that anyways. Uh, but yeah, I, tomorrow I have another early shift. And this night is apparently the day that uh, daylight saving times goes on or off. Either way, the, the clock is going to jump one forward. So... Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll need an hour extra sleep, technically speaking. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. For now, though, let's start up that raid. And, oh, apparently they have raids off. Okay. Uh, potato, then? Oh, yes, the, the little potato, then. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm guessing they've been dealing with bullshit or such. Okay. Nothing against them. Uh, for their own safety and such. So, Raid Tatum. And let's see. Okay. Uh, yeah, like I said, no late stream. Maybe a showcase Sunday tomorrow. I do have the games installed. I do have them tested. I think I'll have to double check that. 
Uh, but yeah, for now, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Be safe, everyone. And watch out for uh, evil skeletons. <laughs> and demon piñatas. <laughs>